Harry Maguire has received no communication from the club, from Ragnik, but also is having no fight with any player because of his captain role. Ciao guys, welcome back on the channel by Fabrizio Romano, as always with new insights, new stories and also new updates to check together and new things to comment together. And today I want to answer some Man United fans questions on three stories in particular, because it's always important to be careful of what is around and maybe on the press or on social media. It's always important to check all the updates in particular for top clubs. We know we always have many stories. And so let's jump into it together, answering some of your questions on the latest we heard around about Manchester United. Guys, the first story I wanted to touch and comment today is about the captain C situation at Manchester United. Ralph Ragnick was very clear in the last few days. He said that the captain is not an issue at Man United. He's not thinking to change, that there are no problems on this point. And from what I'm told, checking with my sources into the club, but also close to the players, Harry Maguire has received no communication from the club from Ragnik, but also is having no fight with any player because of his captain role. Of course, the moment is not the best one for Man United. We know the situation is not amazing on, in the table, and this is mm, clear for, for Man United. But at the same point, no one is asking Harry Maguire to change his captain's role or maybe to give the armband to another player. We had rumors about Cristiano Ronaldo, but from what I'm told, there is no process to change the captain of Man United right now. Then let's see what happens in the future. Of course, things change in football, but for this moment and in this moment of the season, Man United are not thinking or planning to change the captain. So they are still protecting Harry Maguire. In particular, Ralph Ragnick doesn't want to change the captain at the moment. And so the situation is under control with Maguire, who is not maybe performing at the best level in the last months, but he knows that Man United are trusting him as a captain. And so at the moment, the captain at United is not changing. Another story you have to be careful, guys, is about Donny van der Beek and his potential permanent transfer to, to Everton, because we had some stories in the last 20, 48 hours about Everton's intention to make his transfer permanent from a United. But this is not new. We know that Everton wanted Donny van de Beek on loan with buy option. They wanted to include the buy option because they love the player. They were absolutely sure that he's perfect for Everton. His relationship with Frank Lampard is very good. So they wanted him with a buy option because they were planning to have him on a permanent. But no decision, guys, has been made. Absolutely. It's just two weeks that he's played for Everton. And before saying what's next for Donny van, for Donny van de Beek, we have to wait for the new Man United manager. It's not something that will be decided only on Everton's side. But it's something that has to be decided on Man United side and on Donny van de Beek side. And on Man United side in particular, it's important to understand who will be the manager to see if the new manager will plan with Donny van de Beek or without Donny van de Beek. In case van de Beek will be on the market, we will see in May, in April, in May, in, Jan in June, uh, to understand if he will be in the market. For sure, Everton could be an option, not the only one but an option. But trust me, not the only one, because if Donny will be available on the market, many clubs will be prepared to make a proposal. But also, at the same point, May United are really relaxed, because it's not now, it's not February or March, the moment to make a decision, but only once they will have a new manager in frame, ready to become the new face of the project of May United, to decide on Donny van de Beek. So be careful also with Donny van de Beek reports around, and also with Pogba, because guys, Pogba has not decided yet what he wants to do. Whether he wants to stay at May United and sign a new deal, or if he wants to try something new into another club, Pogba has not decided. He's taking his time together with his agent Min Raiola, but also together with his family. His family is very important, people close to him, his family, uh, to decide together what they want to do for the future is probably the last top contract of Paul Pogba. And so he knows that is an important one to decide also about personal life, about the city, about the club, about the league, about the country. Many factors have to be considered on his decision if he wants to stay at Man United or leave where he wants to go. So everything is absolutely open for Pogba and he's not communicated anything to Man United. So of course we are in February and he's not signed any deal yet. So Man United are worried, we know with Pogba situation, but he's not decided. This is important to clarify, so be careful also with Pogba, and my feeling is it will take time to see Paul Pogba to decide what's next for his career. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on these Manchester United reports and stories about Maguire and the captain, about Paul Pogba and his future, about Donny van de Beek and what's next for him. I wait for your comments here. As always, I'm reading you guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel to have all the latest, all the updates, all the videos to receive every single day 
The notification about the video, remember to turn on the notification bell so you won't lose any update. And as always, guys, like this video, subscribe, and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao!